So between 2007 and 2008, Olympia, Washington grew almost 3% to a population of 245,000 people. If this growth rate were to continue, what would the population of Olympia be in 2014? And so we see this percentage growth rate here, and the percentage growth rate tells us that we're, we should be looking at an exponential growth model. And so we're going to go ahead and use our pn equals 1 plus r to the n times p0 explicit growth model uh, for this population. So remember, r is the percentage growth rate, uh, written as a decimal, and so in this case, it is 3%, so we're going to go ahead and write 0 0.03 raised to the n power, and p0 is our initial population. The only initial population we have here is 245,000, so we'll go ahead and say p0 is 245,000. And, uh, what, what is the year 0 corresponding to here? So n equals 0 is corresponding to, let's see here, our population grew to a population of 245,000. So the 245,000 is our population in 2008. And so n equals 0 here is corresponding with 2008. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write out 245,000, but it would be just fine here as well to have written 245 and just remembered that our measurement was in thousands. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate this out. Uh, so to predicting the population now in 2014, 2014 is going to be how many years after 2008? Looks like it's going to be six years later. So we need to predict p sub 6. Uh, so making that prediction, we got 1.03, just went ahead and added those, to the 6th power times 245,000. And now I'm going to need to pull out my calculator. So we've got 1.03 raised to the power of 6 times, and I don't really need to hit equals here, so I'm not going to, uh, cause order of operations says do the exponent first, and the calculator knows that. So times 245,000 gives me a pop predicted population of 292,543. Uh, or 2, right? Cause it depends on how many people we're talking about. Now, notice that I, this case, my calculator didn't round at all. And so this answer would have come out a little bit differently if we had rounded the value of 1.03 to the 6th before multiplying by 245,000. So I came out here with about 292, 540, 292, 400, 542 or 3 people, um, or approximately 293,000. Really, it's not very good of us to give this much accuracy when the original value for the population was only given with three significant di digits, so probably saying about 293,000 is a more appropriate answer to this problem.